What's going on guys? Hunter here with AM Electronics, joined by Brian Heitkotter out at Willow Springs International Raceway for Grid Life Skip Day. We're going to check out the AEM CD7 dash installed in this 370Z. So Brian, you just had your first session out on track with the dash, and you've gotten some information from it. What do you like? What do you don't like? And what are some things maybe that you want to change up? Remember, the dash design is 100% configurable, so anything you want to see, we can add. So I'd love to have a, a page that's like dedicated almost exclusively to lap times, predictive lap times, uh, whether it's better than the previous lap or not. Something simple like that would be perfect. Okay, how does, how does that help you when you're driving? Well, it gives me all the information I want, um, and it makes it easy to just pick out what I need to know, you know, in a flash, because when I'm racing wheel to wheel, I've got cars all around me, and I need the information I need with the quickest glance possible. We can definitely set that up for you here in the Dash Design 2 software. So let's jump into the software and take a look. Previously, we had your current layout and we're gonna change up the last screen, screen four. Here in the import screen section, we can choose through a multitude of different pages. This screen right here, it has a white background and then it'll have your predictive lap timing right in the middle as well as some of the other elements. I, let's try that. I like it and I like the predictive uh, being up at the top front and center. And here you were asking about the different elements on this screen. So we have your current lap, your predicted fastest lap time, we'll have your fastest lap, your current run time, your predicted time, last lap, and your fastest lap. So you could yeah. compare your last to your fastest to your predicted lap time. That's awesome. I really like that screen, actually. And then you also wanted to uh, to try out that other screen. I liked it because it has a tack and it has a couple additional yeah. values compared to the one just above it. Yeah. What if we went to this screen and then uh -huh. changed up so you have your tack across the top? Yeah. And then we could uh, we could add some lap timing elements as well. Yeah, that would be awesome. So you can literally put anything wherever you want. If you can think of it you can do it. So we can add your current lap time here, current lap time. Brian, do you need labels that remind you what these are? Initially, yeah, they'd be helpful. Okay. Obviously, once I get used to the dash, I won't need them, but... Okay. And all of these font sizes, positions, even the font itself can be changed if you're looking for something else or you're looking to match some, uh, some theme or something like that. Perfect, just like that. So here you'll have your lap delta, followed by your current lap and then your fastest lap along with your tachometer. If you flip to your next screen, that was your dynamic lap timing page that you were using previously. Yeah. And then this last one is also a dedicated lap timing page. So each of these pages can also be toggled with the left button. Simply by clicking that button, you'll scro scroll to the next screen and you can switch from one page to another depending on what you're doing. Or if at the end of your session you wanna see an overview, that's a great time also to flip to the fourth page. Yeah, awesome. One of the things too to highlight about the lap timing in the Dash Design software that gets loaded into the AMCD7 Dash is the initial setup. So in the setup screen, there's a lap timing and GPS section. When using the vehicle dynamics module or a Dash with onboard GPS, you'll go into the lap timing mode, set the mode to GPS, and then you'll set up your average speed setup the GPS speed, the longitude, latitude, and course, all to the GPS items. Note that if you're using the vehicle dynamics module, that'll be the GPS channels. And if you have a dash with internal GPS, those will be the GPS I channels. Then you'll set your track width. Now, prior to coming on track, you'll have a momentary button wired in. What do you do with that button? Yeah, you just hold it down as you cross start finish line to set a marker for start okay. finish. Okay, okay. And then do you, do you just need to do that once or do you have to do it every session? I've just done it once. Just on, on like on your first out lap, you pressed it, held exactly. it? Exactly, yeah. Okay, and then on screen, what pops up? Uh, there were two bright lights, these two LEDs lit up okay. to let me know that it confirmed okay. the marker. Perfect, so you set it, you're good for the rest of the day. All right, so we'll go ahead, save this, We'll upload it to the display. One of the great things about the dash is obviously it'll show you that lap timing information. But another benefit is after you come back from your session, we've set up the logging channels and assigned a logging rate to each channel so that when we pull that data, we can see what was going on at a given point on track. Then you can get the most out of your next session based on that information. What does data do for you when you're driving? Well, especially on a test day like this, it's great to be able to try different things with the car setup or with my driving. You know, maybe try a different gear in a corner and then compare session to session and really get into the details of where was that change faster or slower 
and was it an overall benefit or not. Having data like that is like really, really helpful for testing and just making the car faster piece by piece. That's great to hear. That's why we use the dash. That's why we use data. We're looking to get faster on every lap. When you get faster, you're going to have more fun. After configuring the layout on the laptop, we upload it to the display. By unplugging the USB, you'll see the dash come back to life. Now we can toggle through some of the screens. So there we have our overview page that gives us a lot of different information on the different items that we're monitoring. Then we have our race page that has some lap timing information as well as RPM and mile per hour. Then from there we have a bit more of a dynamic race page that gives you a lot of information all in one place. And then here we have our overall lap timing page. This is with your white background. It'll also have that predictive bar at the top to tell you if you're faster or slower. Yeah, I like this one. I'm definitely going to try this next session. So now that that's loaded, we'll give you the time to break and cool down, follow up after next session, pull some data, and see how you did. Cool, man. Sounds good. Hey, guys. We just came in from the last session. I had the opportunity to do a couple of hot laps here with Brian. Hell of a driver. Took me for quite the ride. We saw some really consistent times, so let's dive into it. A lot of times what I like to do on a test day like today is just try subtly different things with the car in certain corners or yeah. corner sequences and then go back, look at the data, analyze it, and figure out, you know, like an overall, like if there's a series of linked turns, mm -hmm. what approach is faster in that series of corners. And it's just a matter of drilling down and finding those tiny differences. And if, if you find a half a tenth in half the corners, you found a few tenths. Yeah. So you can get like super geek out and get really detail oriented, which I actually enjoy. Absolutely. doing between sessions. I love using data. I love using it to verify what I think and also to just learn new things that I didn't know I didn't know yet. This looks perfectly easy to use. Um, I love the customizable dash where you can put anything wherever you want it. And it it's something I, I would totally use. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Brian gave us some huge compliments. No matter what level you're at, pro level, or just entering the space, doing track days, this is something that you can utilize to go faster and be more consistent on track. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you're first in line next.